Okay, I've had a lot of people ask me about active injection in regards to my wireless hacking videos. So I'm going to go ahead and make a video on how to do active injection. And um, sorry if I sound a little out of it right now. I just had four teeth removed, so it's kind of hard to talk. But anyways, what we want to do first is we want to make sure we have our VMware workstation open and the backtrack image loaded. I already have my backtrack virtual machine loaded. If you don't know how to do this, be sure to watch the previous video, the wireless hacking part one, that shows you how to set all this up. Okay, so I'm going to proceed by opening up a uh, text document or editor just so I can reference the material down. And for that, I'm going to use Kwrite. Um, you don't have to do this step, it's, it is helpful though. And uh, once I have my text pad open, I'm going to open up a shell console, a new shell console. And I can just left click on the bo um, black button at the bottom to proceed with that. I'm going to start as I normally would when I uh, perform a crack of a network. So let's go Airmon NG just to make sure my interface is listed. I do see WLAN 0, which would be my interface. And proceed by typing the arrow dump hyphen NG and specify my adapter, my interface, which will be WLAN 0. And we're going to start having networks appear for us. Top one's the one I'm connected to right now. I'm at my uh, a different location at the moment, but um, so far it's looking like this one's going to be our best choice. This uh, it's WP encryption, which is good. It's network name two wire. It has uh, decent strength and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and press Control C to stop this right now, and I'm going to copy this one up here and put in my uh, text document here. Now, once I have this uh, access point ID. Markdown. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it again. I'm gonna gonna proceed as though I'm gonna try to uh, crack the network. So arrow dump hyphen ng space slash w for the right command. I'm gonna name the document passcode and hyphen hyphen bssid and then input the address for the access point. Followed by the channels. So space slash c or hyphen c and channel six as we see up here. And once we have that inputted, we want to put in the interface, which will be WLAN 0, and hit enter. And we'll give it a moment here. We'll see the uh, data rate is very slow. We got one. Not even that. It's going extremely slow right now. Okay. But this is the main thing we want to keep an eye out the station. This is a, a system connected to the network right now. Actually, we have two. And what we can do is, um, what, for active injection, we basically want to, basically want to kind of act like we're on the network itself. We're going to spoof our MAC address to match one already on the network, so we can kind of inject a few more packets and making the network think we're actually on it. So I'm going to go ahead and press Control C for right now, and I'm going to copy one of these. I'll copy this E6 one. So right-click copy, and I'll input that there as well. And once I have that done. We want to open up another shell console. I'll put it up here, and from here we're going to proceed and change the MAC address. The MAC, there's a MAC change already integrated into the backtrack image, so what we can do is simply type in, uh, I believe it's if config, and then our interface name followed by down. And after you've done that, just hit enter. Okay, and now we want to specify the MAC changer. So that's Mac changer space hyphen M. And then the Mac adjust we're going to be spoofing. So we just paste that in here. And then specify our interface, which will be WLAN 0 in my case. And then we see what my current Mac address is and the fake Mac address, the one I just spoofed. So once we have that done, we can just type in AirPlay. I think I spelled that right. Hyphen NG space hyphen 3 space hyphen b and then the access points mac address which will be this one right here so i can just highlight copy and then input it up here then space hyphen h and put down the spoofed mac address which will be this one right here and then specify the interface again and hit enter let's give it a moment here and we should start seeing some replies back to show that we injected packets. So let's just wait this one out. Okay, great. So we've seen ARP requests. It's sort of similar to man in the middle attack. Um, so let's see. Great, we got some packets being sent. So now that we have this going, we can actually um, proceed with the arrow dump command again. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that running. And we're going to switch this, this shell console. 
I remember earlier we were getting like very low, like in 36, sec 36 seconds we got 24 data packets. Watch what happens. This is stop messing up. Watch what happens when we do this again. So it's going to be arrow dump, FNNG, and then we're going to put W, and we're going to name this passcode new, underscore new. And I do not want to put that hyphen there. Okay. And once we've done that, we can reference the access point of the router. Okay, great. Reference the channel, which will be six, and then put in my interface name. And look at our data packets fly. So earlier, in the span of 26 seconds, we got about 24. Right now we're going above a little bit of 10 seconds. We already got over a thousand. So basically, thinks I'm on a network right now. It's kind of uh, communicating with the router itself, sending ARP replies and so forth, but with a different MAC address, the one that's already on the network. So it thinks I'm on the network and it's com communicating with me. And by that, we're able to uh, uh, get quite more few IVs a little bit fit faster. So if you have a network that's going slow, you can try this technique. You can even do this with a network that's going fast just to speed things up a little bit. Um, I didn't want to integrate this into my first tutorial just to save time and trouble. Kind of want to make keep it as simple as possible. But I've had a lot of people ask me questions about it. So this is how you do an active injection for uh, cracking. And I hope that proves useful to you all. If you have any questions or concerns, just post a comment. And uh, if you have yet to do so, make sure you check out both those other two Hacking Wireless tutorials. Have a great day. Mushroom Hatbangers. Subscriber. Uh, uh, well, die.